And we're back, guys. Welcome to Good Energy. We report on sports. Good Energy reporting on sports. This content is brought to you via the Fair Usage Act. That's right. Fair Use Tennis Reporting. We are going to commentate on this match as well as critique these players. How do you show up to the biggest match of your life, the French Open, and forget your racket? Katarina Zavatska, you guys heard the story. Unbelievable. I would have took a break after that as well. Uh, I think she was also battling injuries, but she took a mental break, a mental leave from the sport. She was criticized heavy. You show up to a grand slam with only three rackets. She was up a set. She had Kiki Burton's on the defensive, headed towards a victory, runs out of rackets. That's right. Kiki was blasting shots at her. And she had to borrow a racket, and Kiki gave her a bagel, ended up winning the match. Katarina lost a lot of money. She should have won that match. But listen, guys, this is the match up here. Free pick winner. Remember, I told you, uh, if I give you a first set spread of plus two, they will win the first set outright. I told you that. Go watch the videos. Thank you guys that do support the channel. Um, listen, yes, I took Alicia Parks to win Andorra. I showed you my tickets. But I'm sorry, I did not do prediction videos on her last two matches. Why? Because I had some fake subscribers just continuously begging me for picks. And listen, guys, if you want to support the channel, hit notifications. When I post a video, you'll get the lock. But please don't come to the channel being thirsty for picks when you don't support the channel. It, I can see who likes my videos. Don't come to the channel begging for free picks when you, you don't even have the courtesy to like the video. You know, I think it's fake love. And the reality is I've been doing this all year. Look, I don't need likes. I don't do it for likes and views. I do it to help people that subscribe. When I give you the video, you take the pick and the pick wins. It's as simple as that. But um, look, I showed you I took Alicia Parks to win it. But I didn't do the picks because I really had some haters begging for picks. And nothing frustrates me more when someone just comes to the channel. They don't support anything and they just beg for picks. Anyways, that rant's over. I hope you enjoyed the free picks over the weekend. Angela Hill, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, $1 got you back five plus if you took both of those picks. They both won very easily. But listen, guys, back to this matchup here. The reason why I told you to take Jessica Ponche plus two games, which she won outright, is Jessica Ponche, she is a she's a defensive player for the most part, but she has a looping forehand. She has a one-handed backhand that she uses to isolate opponent's power, redirect the ball, control her top spin, and dictate the tempo. When you see her using her one-handed backhand, normally she's getting ready to set up her shot, come forward towards the net, and hit a mid-range cross-court angle winner. Much like that. She loves that type of shot. Uh, but the reality here is Jessica Ponce is the better shot maker, in my opinion. You saw that angled winner. That's exactly what she does. Zavaska, if you watched the free preview and prediction video I just made, Zavaska, I said, she, you can do it, put your back into it because she loves to sit down on her shots. Playing someone like Jessica Ponce, you're not going to have that opportunity because she's going to really keep you moving all over the pace. And that's really what she does. She plays a fast tempo. Look, look at the angled winner as well. Zavatska, this is just a bad matchup. She's not going to be able to sit down on her shots and hit winners comfortably. Not saying she can't come back and win this match. It's possible. My numeric lock was on the first set, so not really concerned with who wins the match. But the reality here is this is a bad matchup for Zavatska. And again, France has not been kind to Zavatska. There's no way she should have been as high of a... You know, some places had her as a 1.6 favorite to win this match. Very high. She's playing someone more experienced than her, a better shot maker than her, a better two-way player than her, better doubles player than her, more wins on hard. And if we take a look at the first set statistics, Ponche won 94% of her first serves. Unbelievable. Two breakpoint opportunities. All she needed was one to get it done. And I love covering the France matches whether it's uh gail monfils bonjour comment look the baby looks beautiful with elena svetlana the, they're taking a lot of pictures lately and i love to cover look look whether it's caroline garcia doesn't matter if it's uh you know jessica ponche uh clara buell uh leola john john by the way uh, clara buell uh, i'll give you a lock right now she's got a tough match coming up but I love covering um, the French matches. I do know uh, French. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? But the reality here is this is a matchup, like I said, it's bad for Zavetska. It really is. 
and she needs to sit down on her shots. And Jessica's not going to give their give her the opportunity to be comfortable out there. Uh, she's going to be all over the place, vertical, horizontal. I think Jessica has great movement. She has that looping forehand. Uh, she has great spin to take away her opponent's velocity. And look, it's just going to be a bad matchup. France has not been kind to Katarina, but that's only the first set. The full match still needs to be played. This is good energy. Stay tuned for more free preview and prediction winners. And of course, more tennis coverage under the Fair Use Reporting Act. Stay tuned.